What's going on, Port fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Port Adelaide's latest recruit, Sam Skinner from the Brisbane Lions, turned into a South Adelaide player in 2021, and we picked him up as a delisted free agent in this latest pickup that's been um, kind of a quiet period for Port Adelaide, let's be honest. There hasn't been a lot going on, um, and you know, this is some great news that will add some extra depth into our lineup as a key defender. Um, very versatile player, and I'll get into that a little bit later on. But firstly, I do want to cover some couple, a couple of quick points. I'm doing Movember, so if you'd love to uh, help out and give a small donation of any kind, I'll leave a link in the comments below and you can kindly help out my cause, which is um, you know, battling men's health and making sure that we uh, do find uh, a, a, well, a greater awareness of what's been a pretty difficult time for a lot of people in the last 18 months. Um, and uh, especially for men's health as well. It's a, a, an awareness and a great cause that uh, I take pretty, um, don't take lightly. So uh, if you have a, any spare amount of dollars, it would be greatly appreciated. And secondly, um, we'd uh, love if you could check out my podcast, A Less Is More, which is going to be doing weekly podcasts. A lot more content on there probably than the pair over the off-season. So if you'd like to see some different content, some different topics, um, I can let you guys give me some ideas and um, it'd be greatly appreciated. See a different side of me that normally you wouldn't see in, in the pair and uh, talking about Port Adelaide. So that'd be greatly appreciated. Now that stuff's out of the way. Let's get into it. Let's talk Sam Skinner. Skinner! 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 There's going to be so many Simpson references from, uh, from a lot of fans um, and all the media outlets because, let's be honest, Seymour Skinner, Sam Skinner, Superintendent Chalmers just screaming out, Skinner! It's going to be a lot of fun, so hopefully he does get an opportunity at AFL level. Let me give you a bit of a background on Sam Skinner. He is from the Brisbane Lions, was pick 47 in the 2015 National Draft. I only played three AFL games due to three knee reconstructions over his five-year period at the Brisbane Lions, only eventuating with three AFL games in total. Those three knee reconstructions um, happening at the wrong time for him and unfortunately uh, had to find his way back through the SANFL. In 2021, he played for South Adelaide as a forward, kicking 15 goals in 16... Uh, no, actually, it's 16 goals in 15 games before... A change of tone moved him down back where he uh, became an elite specialist down there, averaging 19 disposals per game, uh, 11 intercept possessions and 7 intercept marks with a standout performance in South Adelaide's semi-final uh, where he got 11 intercept marks in total. A leer, a leer like for Sam Skinner, which would be uh, a great depth for Port Adelaide's defensive unit and also can be a versatile player and swing forward, which is... Something I think we've uh, lacked a little bit since Justin Westhoff has left. So an opportunity for Sam Skinner to provide some depth in that area and really become, um, a, a, well, a, a, a player that can push for selection and really give us another option down back if we have injuries. Obviously, it helps out uh, defensively with um, a smaller defense that we have and Tom Cleary can come back into the side or Trent McKenzie uh, falls out of place or somehow there's an, a bad injury to one of the players. We've got... Um, options and Sam Skinner provides that also down forward if the likes of Dixon, uh, Marshall or even Georgiatis don't work out too well uh, early on or there's a, an injury of some kind and um, you know, Jeremy Finlayson's not working out and we just don't have another option there is an opportunity for Sam Skinner to take uh, and really develop his skills and to have a second opportunity at AFL level is a real bonus for him and will give him a lot of confidence especially after such a Great performance that he's had in 2021 for South Adelaide. Work to do because Rokar's driving the Red Legs forward once more from the centre of the ground. Come back! Mark of the day from the Coles Valued Player candidate, Sam Skinner. That clip there that you've just seen from his performance, um, uh, yeah, taking those intercept marks has been something that Port Adelaide's defensive unit has pride itself on. Uh, we, we do punch the ball a fair bit, but intercept marking on the quick um, transition football that we can play can damage a lot of teams and I think that's something we've lacked in key moments and key games. And I'm not saying Sam's going to provide uh, the difference in that area, but I think certainly having someone pressurise someone's spot can allow um, for an up in attitude and also performance. So it'd be great to see him in Port Adelaide colours. be interesting to see what number he does get. Um, there's a lot of options now with a few players leaving, but definitely 
Um, it's going to be one to watch in 2022. I think he's only got a one-year contract at the moment, um, but it'll definitely be interesting to see what we do after that. He's only 24 years of old, uh, years of age, so he's got plenty about him. There's a lot of skill in him, and he's, he's a very good player. You know, he's been someone that, you know on the radar at Brisbane. Only played the three AFL games. He kicked two goals in his debut against West Coast, and I think there was a lot of promise around him at Brisbane, and a lot of people did. Uh, hype him up a little bit, but unfortunately, to have those knee reconstructions, it does bring a little bit of baggage. Um, and with our recent injury history, um, it would be interesting to see how we treat him uh, as a player uh, with, with those injuries, and hopefully that it doesn't uh, affect his performance at all um, going into 2022. And I think playing for the Magpies is going to uh, create his own um, uh, reputation down back and really can own that. We haven't had a really solid defender down back play for the Magpies for a little bit now, and um, I think he'll 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 thrive in in our environment. And really, um, at 24 years of age, he's still young. And I keep saying it, but having that youth and having that depth with youth really pushes the boundaries of other players and makes them go up another gear. So this is a great recruit for Port Adelaide. I'm really excited to see what he can bring and. Um, as a as a tall defender myself in the local leagues, it's great to see a defender get recognition um, for his great work. So, uh, well done, Sam Skinner. Look forward to seeing what he brings to Port Adelaide in 2022. He just controlled it into the pocket. Lester thought about the goal. Gave it across to Skinner instead. Who snaps and goals to kick the first of his career. Uh, have a look at them. They're running from everywhere. This is great. Just quickly, a couple of other things as well I want to talk about. Obviously, Sam Skinner is the main attraction at the moment, the main topic of the day. But I think there's a couple of players in line for Port Adelaide to be looking at. And um, I, I really, if you combine all of these players' names together, including the draft picks that we might pick up, it might be a very well-recruited uh, off-season. Look, the Jason Cripps and Co. have done an amazing job over the years in our recruitment and our player development and uh, really picking the right players in the draft and, and in the off-season with delif- delisted free agents and free agents and trade period and all of that um, crazy, messy uh, part of the AFL season. So um, Trent Dumont is another one. I've been seeing a lot of his name uh, pop up um, recently, and he did an interview on SEN this morning saying Port Adelaide have had a bit of talk with him more than the Adelaide Crows, and if he does come back to South Australia to play football, um, he'll probably go to Norwood. So there's a lot of options for him to go um, to an AFL side, and I think to add a little bit of midfield depth would be great, um, and Trent Dumont's been one player that's actually thrived at North Melbourne as well, so didn't get a lot of opportunities late, um, but I think he's got a lot of talent. He's an SA boy. And to have him on the list wouldn't do any harm whatsoever, and uh, could be someone, that, another one we bring in, um, and he creates his own reputation, builds his um, profile, and can actually um, play a few games of AFL footy if, if, God forbid, one of our players in the midfield go down. So he's definitely a name I'd be looking at. And you know, the other one is Charlie Constable. I don't think we'll have any lures to bring him to Port Adelaide, but it's a name I like to throw out there because I think he's got a lot of talent. He's one of the best players that Geelong had that didn't play. And I think you know, if, if there was another option to look at for a midfield depth, he's only young, he's got a great skill set, uh, he's a really good player uh, around the ground, and I think someone to look at as well. So if there is an option there to, to bring him in, no doubt I'd be targeting um, one of those two because I think midfield depth is, is crucial for us. And going into the draft, I know, uh, with especially pick 12, we're going to be using um, you know, probably a pick on maybe Nasiah Wangani Malira or you know, a couple of others uh, that are around the mark. Um, and I've seen a few fans as well, comments and different names that uh, I've been looking into and I look forward to bringing a bit of a draft preview in, in a week or so time uh, to see who we can actually use. I did put out a video for Pick 12 to see if there's names that are there that I'd like to see get picked up and um, there's a couple more now that have come to my attention. So there's plenty of options for Pick 12. We know Jace Bergwijn as well is, an, is the one that we're going to be uh, almost certain to pick up with the father-son nomination using those later picks for points to match. Probably a pick in the 30s or 40s. So if we come out of the draft with a couple of midfielders, um, then you've got Sam Skinner and maybe uh, Trent Dumont coming our way. Uh, I think that's a really good haul of players coming into the side after the few players that we have uh, let go this off-season. You know, Jared Leanett, there's a replacement, obviously, with uh, Sam Skinner. You know, Hamish Hartlett's unfortunate. Good to see him, by the way, going to West Adelaide, continuing his playing career and developing his coaching uh, role as well as a player development um, coach and you know having that assistant coach role on field as well. I think we'll see him back at Port Adelaide 
um, down the future, down in the future with uh, a coaching role because he's got a great mind. It's a great pl- a people person, and he knows his way around players. So uh, it'll be great to see him get targeted as well. Um, and I think that's it. That's wrapped up. It's been a, a busy, busy day of news, and I look forward to seeing what else we can bring. Um, come for the rest of the season into the draft. Well, poor fans, that wraps up this video. Once again, welcome to Sam Skinner. Let me know in your uh, in your mind what you're thinking um, of Sam Skinner and, and his uh, and Port Adelaide's latest recruit. Comment below your thoughts and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide and IFL content coming your way. And don't forget, if you can, please donate to Movember. It's such a great cause and um, I'm growing a dirty mo and uh, I've, I hope to... Uh, yeah, get some support around it. So uh, support any cause, any friends that are doing it, get around them as well. It's, it's a great cause and uh, something I hold close dearly to myself. So look forward to seeing what you guys bring up in the off-season. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Anthony, and as always, count the pair.